Hello everyone. Tonight I am with the lovely Katrina Valente. We are going to talk about beauty, that it is more than skin deep and how it is connected to your inner awareness and finding balance and harmony. Katrina has graduated from the Burley Academy of Beauty in Kerbiger in England. She established a very successful beauty business and she was quite busy twirling the world and qualified in other beauty therapies. Her interaction with her clients led her to the belief that there was more to beauty. So she went on on a journey of her own to, in, to uncover the real source of outer beauty. Her interaction with clients, well, it, it's really more her journey. I'm really impressed with her long journey and rich journey because she also did an LP, she's certified in reflexology, aromatherapy, Reiki, pranic healing, color healing, crystal therapy, kinesiology, hypnotherapy, timeline therapy, and coaching to excellence. She was looking for what is it that makes us beautiful, a human being, whether you're a man or a woman. And she found her answer, and her answer is inner peace. So she developed her own unique, fully integrative, holistic approach to beauty, wellness, fitness, nutrition, while also combating the anti-aging process. Katrina Valente, welcome. Thank you, Sarah. We, we are so much in sync that we're tonight, we're both in blue, and apparently you never wear blue. I never wear this color, and uh, I just had to laugh. <laughs> um, so tell us, how does the skin reflect whether someone is at peace with themselves or not? Uh, I wouldn't say it's just one thing. I mean, the skin is a map of your internal organs. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if people have certain problems on their skin, you can always relate it to what's going on internally. But more so, I think when you look at healers, you, you look at people that practice yoga, and all of that kind of thing, you, they shine. They ju they just shine That's from the true. outside. It's it's an inner thing. It's not it's a, like an a inner physical glow or yeah. It, it's a reflection maybe of what level your energy vibe yeah. or your vibration yes, is at. Yes, definitely. So what can you tell when you do somebody's face? Like if somebody comes to you, how do they know whether they need coaching, color therapy? Well, with, within a treatment, I look at the whole mind, body, spirit of a person. So I work with color therapy where you work environment yes and um, sorry I've got to please let us know where you're watching from and if you've just joined us we are with the lovely Katrina Valente holistic uh, I'm gonna say healer really I, would, I mean obviously beauty has been my main thing but I've always because I qualified in all these other healing modalities I thought well how can I incorporate all these other healing modalities into one treatment. Yes. So that's how I came up with the color therapy, crystal healing, and then reflect. You end up getting an experience that's not just one dimensional. Interesting. But you know, you are really godsend. Um, when I came to Dubai, I met Katrina through a mutual friend, um, Zakia, who, if I may mention, has started her own business, um, especially for women 40 something, 50 something, called Quantum Girls. And Katrina but really with the oils, and I still call it rainbow massage, but it's not rainbow <laughs> massage. Raindrop. And the reason massage. that I call it rainbow massage is because when Katrina did it, I'm fortunate enough to be able to see energies and auras. And, and I saw my whole energy just came together like a rainbow, totally cleansed. So you know your oils, you know your colors. And of course, if everybody has watched the DMK um, facial that she gave me, um, the thing about you is you also use no chemicals, you use botanicals, natural stuff. Tell us why that is important and you always seem to be detoxing. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I do use clinical products, but they're all very um, high grade, but I predominantly work with organic and uh, botanicals. I think the way the world's going, people want more yes. natural. And you know, hi Leslie, the, hi Sylvia. The natural products are actually very hi, active. They've got lots of peptides in them, stem cells from vegetables and plants. So really, you know, people want to be more chemical free now. And you know, the, the word paraben is mm. an ugly word within the skincare. I, I totally left parabens. 
Yeah. I left sulfur, shampoos with sulfur. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, another thing is um, aluminium mm -hmm. in deodorants. Yeah. So actually, in terms of looking after yourself, in terms of holistic wellness, you know, people, viewers can start doing those things where you cut down yes, for on sure. the dependence on chemicals. Definitely, definitely, yeah. So, yeah, so I use all my oils are organic, very pure, and... Um, and you feel the difference. Yes, you do, definitely. You know, I really feel the difference. Instantly, as well. And, and the, f the, the feeling or the sense of well-being when you're done yeah. is completely different when you use high-grade oils that are organic um, with no chemicals. Yes, and they smell very pure. When I started working with Altera Bio Color mm -hmm. Therapy, mm -hmm. It must be 10 years ago now. I've actually never went back to using perfumes because they just smell so chemical. They do, and they smell so synthetic. Yeah. And that is true. So detox, fitness, how can we find inner peace? Uh, by Isn't that working the million dollar on question? <laughs> inner peace comes from understanding yourself on a much deeper level, delving in, meditation is very important. Um, how, how often do you meditate? Every day. Really? Mm. For how long? It depends. It could be 10 minutes, it could be an hour, it could be, you know, two or three times a day, it depends. What does it do to you? It helps you come back into the now moment. And when we're in the now moment, we always have whatever we need. So it's thinking about the past, worrying about the future that brings us all the um, anxiety. But when we're in the now, right here, right now, we have everything we need, don't we? That's true. Yeah. So that's what meditation and does I think, for you. I think when you're not in the now, you're either regretting the past or you're worrying about the future. And this is when you stress. Yep. This is when it shows not only on your face, mm -hmm. but it can show in your energy. If you keep worrying and stressing and not being in the now, you will develop diseases or blockages or you know illnesses no i believe that every Ill illness dis-ease if you split the word yes um well, all starts from an emo yeah. starts from an emotional set point and i really don't believe that there is any such thing as an incurable disease i think everything can be cured through diet through emotional therapy through positive thinking mm. and I, I really truly a thousand percent believe that Yes. You know? Yes. Although I do think karma steps in and sometimes, you know, severe illnesses, you, that person was meant to go through that experience and sometimes that's how yeah. they were led, you know, how they, their life ends. Yeah. So that's something different, but I think everything can be cured. I think from experience, you know, dramatic diseases and deaths to me, seem to be the soul's way it's like an exit strategy it helps the family to cope and to adjust yeah but for the person i mean the minute you cross over and we're talking about bridges of light you are in the light you are in a perfect vibration and this is almost like a dream it's we are in the hologram aren't we yeah we're living in the matrix this is mm -hmm. a video game and we're all players and we all have our part to play all your family your friends each one has a has a, has a, a job mm -hmm. and a role in your life to teach you what it is you need to learn. That's it. Bravo. This That's is it. is this how you coach your yeah. clients? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Through, ha to help them find or make a shift yes, in I the mean, way they see their lives. Yeah. I mean, it's through my own experience. You have to take responsibility when you point one finger, three point back at you. So you know, beauty was always my forte. Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a beauty therapist. I had older cousins that would always make me up and paint my nails and do my hair. And you, But if you look at my astrology chart, it was what I was born to do. I guess there is something about beauty um, or in, being interested in beauty is that you see it. It's physical. The, yeah. the change is instant. It's quite tactical. It's a visible outcome yes. to an experience. So I, I make people feel good. You know, I'm not like the tax man. No. <laughs> you dread. No. No. You dread. So... I have a great job because people look forward to coming to see me because I make them feel better. You know what I do with some of my clients? I will I do it myself. If you've gone through a very difficult time, I would either cut my hair, change the color, or cut my yeah. nails. I don't know why, but it does something, it works. And I think when you look in the mirror, 
you're reaffirming to yourself who you are or what you look like. Yes. And if you start from that place of liking what you see in the mirror, you'll start on a good vibe, you'll like everyone, you'll get on with them, but if you feel miserable on the inside, you're only going to reflect that on the outside. And this is why, hello, this is why I think it's really, it's not very frivolous and, and, and beauty is not just skin deep. Um, if you're watching us, you we are live on Bridges of Light, Soul Talk with Sahar, and tonight's guest is the lovely Katrina Valente. Katrina is an international beauty therapist. You've been all over the world, haven't you? I have. So you, she's constantly in demand by spas. If you're ever, wherever she is, or if you're ever in Dubai, make sure that you get the touch of Katrina. There is something very soothing, very healing about you. I mean, I, I don't like normally um, people to do healing on me or to give me healing or to do a massage because when two people work together, the therapist and the client, the two fields become one, the two energy fields become one. Yes, definitely. And you know, you're channeling that to them. And I take my work seriously in the sense that if I'm not okay, if I'm off center, I wouldn't see a client. And perhaps in your job, it's, it's possibly more important because you're, you're physically in touch with them and you're yeah, giving no, them those energies. Yeah, if I'm not feeling right, I won't treat a person because you do transfer that energy and people have to be more aware about that. You know, energy is a real thing and when you're touching people, I always teach the therapists that I work with, when you're constantly doing one massage after the other, you're absorbing their energy, so you have to cleanse yourself. How do you cleanse, Katrina? Well, I use um, my own whole, uh, homemade salt mix. Oh, I love which, that. Um, I work, mm -hmm. Himalayan salt is of the highest vibration, the pink one. And then I'll use organic essential oils. And I mix have a, a little crystal, because yeah, you gave me one to try, and it's absolutely amazing, actually. Yeah, thank you. And yeah. then organic uh, coconut oil, so it doesn't only um, take away all the negative energy from your auric field it also leaves your skin lovely and smooth the oil softens and the essential oils work on the emotions so this is how I do it I also use um, bicarbonate of soda in the bath which mm -hmm. gets rid of negative en it energy does. It does. and uh, Epsom salts detoxifies so they're, two, they're a little bit different okay so tell us again uh, the Epsom salt. Epsom, Epsom salts detoxifies mm -hmm. and it's got magnesium in it, so mm -hmm. it's very good if you've got swelling or bloating or really? fatigue. Mm -hmm. It really helps you uh, if you're tired, Calm it helps down. you go to sleep. Oh, wow. And then the bicarbonate of soda only gets rid of negative energy. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's a good thing to mix the both together? No, no, oh, no you do really? one or the other. Oh, really? Because I usually mix them together. No, you don't. Oh. Because you, it's, yeah, because they two have separate jobs. And then you, you can also use Himalayan salt in the bath, mm. and that's full of minerals. So that's your third choice, but you don't mix any of them. Really? No. So it's not a good idea. Do you hear that, everyone? I really did not know. I yeah. used to mix them. And you mix can them you, all. you can put essential Hi, oils. You can you can put essential oils in, um, but no, you don't mix any of the three. You do them separately. It's more. Potent. Okay, we're, we're kind of a little bit, you know, a weird setup here because we're trying to record one video in horizontal, and we're recording this one in vertical. Instagram. So <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have to squeeze. <laughs> right. So how oh how. God. I wanted to say how many, do, do you see mostly men, women, do men have problems? No, it's, I mean, obviously, uh, universally, closer, universally cause... it's women. I mean, in all these retreats and these healing, you know, uh, workshops, it's always women. What, but... what kind of problems do men have? Like when you, what, what do you pick up? Because they stress quite a lot. Yeah, men. I, th are I men. mean, they would stress about the finances, the jobs. Yeah, I mean, with men, it's always finances and jobs. But I just recently treated a man that was going through a divorce, so he needed help. With so it that. was an emotional upheaval. Emotional, but men tend to hide their emotions, as we all know. They're very practical. Um, they don't like to talk about their emotions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, I think you know the new age man is getting a little bit more. In more touch sensitive, with his do you think? Side. I don't know about the new age man. I think men are always aware, but maybe they're not as embarrassed to say, I'm getting a massage or I'm getting a treatment or, you know, you. Mm. I often see them like, you know, walking into a spa or something. No, nowadays, I mean, the men's spas are fully booked. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. 
Yeah. It really is crazy. Tell us about your um, cleansing salt. Are you selling that on your website? I am. It's on my website, yeah. Please tell everybody what your website is. My website is www.katrinavalenti.com and then we're also on YouTube. Yes, absolutely. Please subscribe. Subscribe to Bridges of Light. Subscribe to the um, Facebook group so you can watch us and give us a comment or a like and if you've got any questions about anything concerning emotional upheaval, emotional balance, beauty treatments, send us a message please. We'd love to hear from you. What was the hardest case that you worked on? Oh, what was the hardest case that I worked on? It's usually people that won't take responsibility for themselves mm. and they sit and want to blame someone else. For what's it's hard, happening it's in hard to life. admit that you know you haven't yeah. done the right thing or that you've participated in the experience. And then there's some people where very early on you just know you're not going to be able to help them because they just don't want to see what's really... So how, how do you handle that, Katrina? I'm just going to switch this light on. Um, I think how do I handle that? I'm, I'm, I'm a bit blunt, you mm. know, I'm not, I don't, I'm no, not so am much I. of That's a mamby pamby type of person. Yeah, I cut no, straight I. to the chase yeah. and tell them exactly. Because if you're not going to work on yourself, if you're not mm. going to do what you need to do in order to move on, I mean, there was one. Actually, there was one client I had and she had said that she wanted to come and, and work on her finances because she didn't really care about money, she wasn't very good with money. Mm -hmm. And then she did to me exactly what she wanted to work on and I called her out on it and she didn't like it at all. Really? But I'm not, and you know, she said, oh, that was a bit harsh. You know, you're supposed to be a healer. I said, but I'm not here to color your life. Yeah. I'm here to give you the truth. And I think there is and something about when you allow the person to whinge for long yeah. without holding themselves accountable, accountable yeah. then nothing is going to change. They're yeah. just wasting your time. Yeah their money and they're not really healing themselves. I try and get people to commit to me. You know, one session is neither here nor there. You need to have at least four sessions, yeah. generally yeah, speaking. Yeah, I agree. You know, three to four, you can but, really yeah. change or make yeah. a shift in a person. Yeah. Tell me about the um, meditation. I mean, you've attended my meditation classes. I've attended your meditation classes. We work in a different way. I love your meditation classes. I can't remember if it was a full moon or a new moon because you do them on full moons and new moons yeah and you asked us to make a list it was the um, moon in march and it was supposed to augur a lot of changes and transformation and you've asked us to write down what do we want to get rid of and what do we want to materialize and i wrote down 19 things two days ago i found that piece of paper and 14 out of 19 um of of my um cleansing list have have come to um fruition have come to fruition have come Amazing. to be really real yeah i'm very very pleased Good. i can't remember if it was a full moon does anyone know six of march full moon or new moon so i would definitely yeah. like to um attend your what do you do in your meditation classes i do a lot of things because i have a lot of modalities so i like to use as much as i can I do the color test for everybody, so it lets us tell know. us tell us a bit about the color test. So um, I forgot Hi, to I forgot to bring it with me. I could have done a test live, but never mind. That's it's okay. fourteen yeah. colors that relate to the chakras of the body, which are your energy portals that run down the center line. Each color has a meaning, a thought form, and an organ attached to it. And then you get wait the a minute. You kind of brushed over something which is very important. So each color has an organ, a chakra. Emotion, a color, an emotion. A color. So can you give us like an, an example? Like what so, can you pick um, up? So indigo, for instance, mm -hmm. that Sahar and I are both wearing today is the third eye. And the third eye is about clarity of mind, intuition, vision, vision going within. So it's interesting that both of us, and it means when you wear the same color as someone else, that you're on the same there's, vibration there's as them. Yes, yes. There's resonance with the two of you. Um, so by choosing four colors, it tell, the first color tells me what you want to connect to. The second color is your block. Mm -hmm. The third color is the support to open the block. And the fourth color is where you want to be in the not so distant future. So you unblock the block by using a certain color? Yeah, and you inhale the perfume. So oh, we have the perfume. perfumes and oils. 
So you inhale the perfume, so the perfume gets into the biochemical rhythm. What a beautiful way to work with healing. Yeah. So you have colors, scents, you get a massage, you get a reflexology, hmm. but really you're doing your healing in a very fun way. Yeah. So people are always blown away by that because it works totally on the subconscious nice. mind. And the subconscious knows everything you need at any given moment. And so you're not being attacked, you're not being judged. And no, it's not because like what I tell you, it's like I'm reading your mind. So people are like, wow, that's true. <laughs> I'm like, I know. <laughs> so from there, I want you to choose <coughs> some me. angel cards that gives you um, a message for yourself and for the group. Because when you do things in a group, it, it pertains it, it, to Yeah, I remember that everybody's messages kind of made sense. Yeah. So even there's residence even amongst the people who attend the meditation yeah. class and that whoever's meant to be together will be there and if people cancel at last minute it means they're not supposed to be yeah, there yeah that doesn't at upset that me night. at all no at no all. so um and then uh, i tell you a bit about the energies mm -hmm. that are going on for the new moon or the full moon then we do our guided meditation that i usually just channel and then we choose a card after it and we get, I get you to write down everything that you want to let go of, everything you is want to Is there a difference out. between new moons and full moons, energetically, I mean? There is. I always get this mixed up. Because you, you build moon, up with the new moon. Yeah, the new moon, I think, is about letting go and then, no, the new, yeah, the new moon... The, 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 the waning moon is about letting go. So the new the moon you're moon. building up. I always get it mixed up. So it's new moon. Mm -hmm. Waning moon, full moon, and then waxing moon. One of them you're letting go, the other one you're After the full moon, I know that. Moon. After the full moon you let go because <laughs> the moon is getting smaller, so the energies are to do with decrease. So it's not, a good, it's not a good idea like to cut your hair. I always do it between new moon and full moon. Yeah. If you want to start a project, you start it with the um, new, new moon. moon, between yeah. the new moon and the full moon. And detoxification, never do it towards a full moon. Oh, really? You always do it Because after. you're getting rid, you're letting go. Yes. So then we must have had a full moon because we were letting go okay. of, of all the stuff. Yeah, I always get it right on the night, but when people yeah, ask I know, me, I get it. Yeah, I know, you know, you're tuning in. I'm yeah. a bit left and right. I'm a bit dyslexic. Just think of it, no, not at all. <laughs> Just think of it as... You know, the moon is building up to a full moon, so the energy is building up yeah. because quite a lot of people, even my family, like my aunt, my mother, when it's full moon, they don't have a restful sleep. You know, there's too much energy. Yeah, even there's too Gitano, much. Yeah. And it him and I were talking women about this. A lot. Yeah, it the moon. affects women a lot. Yeah, I think it affects men as well, but maybe they don't talk about it. Why yeah. do you think it's accepted? Well, the because moon, it's a the feminine moon is, energy. It is a it? feminine yeah. energy, the moon. Yeah. So and women usually have their cycle around the full moon and all of that kind of stuff. So tips, any tips, any secrets that you can share with our viewers? Tips. Well, for skincare, for beauty, um, top three, wear sunblock, drink lots of water and use good skincare products. Yes. Food is also of paramount importance. Well, we are what we eat. Totally, 100%. I mean, if you change your diet, you get rid of the toxins, you go for organics. It, it even uplifts the energy, you know? Yes. Like now, I, I still love my meat every now and then, but when I do, I literally need three days to digest it. Yeah, you you know? get, yeah your body gets So maybe um, it used to be once a week, once a month, and then finally it was like once maybe every three months. But when I do, it is always organic, grass-fed, no hormones. Yeah. Um, it really does make a difference over a period of time. It's not just about the skin, but it's about staying healthy. And it's about looking after your physical body mm. so that you can accomplish what you're meant to accomplish in this lifetime. Because you can't accomplish anything without a physical body. No, I mean, I always say I'm an anti-aging expert. You know, beauty, if you want to say about beauty, it's not one thing. It's an, it's an accumulation mm. of many things. Mm good products, diet, food, exercise, mental health, you know, yoga, you have, um, meditation. have a very nice um, quote on your website that says, I'm passionate about facials and anti-aging and consider the whole person, not just part of them. Um, the skin holds the key to a lot of underlying emotions deep within the psyche. And that's why beauty is beyond skin deep. Do you feel that when you work on a client? Do you feel that they went through 
I mean, do you know what kind of upheaval, or do you have a sense? I yeah, say, I'm, I'm very intuitive, yeah. So if you're giving a facial or a massage and you pick up this emotional upheaval, how do you then complement or integrate your other therapies? I, well, I really like what you do, by the way, because it's not so serious as saying, oh, I'm going to see a counselor or I'm going to see you know, a therapist. You, you're, you're having fun, you're having a massage or a facial or you're, or you're smelling some real wonderful perfume, but actually you're getting healed. Yeah. So, um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I mean, it's actually interesting because usually before the client comes in, I'll think about them and I already oh, really? know what to do for mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Really? And the colors so that they choose. So you do use your intuition because you're totally. quite intuitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. So you kind of tune in and you have a sense and mm. I suppose you also listen to what they say and what they went through and... Yeah, I mean, I've been in the business 25 years. I mean, it's super easy for me. Any, any country that you love visiting more than others? Well, I've been enjoying Italy lately. Yeah, that was really nice, actually. Uh, and that's obviously I'm half Italian, so going back to your I, roots. I forget that you are half Italian. <laughs> wow, of course. And uh, you know, because you you were there, you were in Venice for mm. like three weeks, which is a long three trip. Three weeks, yeah, amazing. And that was with which spa? That was with the Amman Resort, which is the Amman Hotel in Venice, which is a very high-end, beautiful palace with all the original paintings and the spa is very beautiful. So yeah, I'm very lucky. I travel around the world to amazing places and uh, treat very interesting people. Oh, thank you, Katrina. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm waiting for your questions, whether it's on healing or the therapies. You also do hypnotherapy. Yes, I do. I How do, many sessions would one need for the hypnotherapy? Well, I do not so much hypnotherapy, mm. it's timeline regression therapy, oh, okay. which takes you back. You know, everybody that we meet in this life, I believe we've interacted with in a past life, and then you come back together to learn the lessons you have to so learn. So what, what would you do in a timeline therapy? Um, you just put them into a relaxed state, and then you go through a protocol of taking them up and back to the past mm. in their mind, and then they have to come to you with a problem and then you ask them to drop down to the very first time they felt the emotion. We work with emotions, hurt, guilt, sadness, fear or anger. Hmm. Lovely. But you know what you say makes sense because if you change the past to your brain, it can perceive a different future because the brain is quite linear. Yes. The brain thinks past, present, future. So what you're doing with the hypno timeline hypnotherapy is you're going to the past, you're changing it, effectively making it possible to create a new outcome or a new future. Well, and it's also allowing the person to understand the uh, connection they had to that individual in a past life, and then it helps them understand what their problem or their issue is with that person in this life right now. And of course, when you release that energy, that emotional block, you, you are literally making your it's energy gone. lighter. It's gone. The problem just disintegrates. And you become wiser, which is what we're talking about. As if by magic. Extracting wisdom from your past experiences really is what heals them. Because a lot of people are frightened about facing their dramas, traumas. But actually, I find it quite empowering, you know. As they say, whatever doesn't kill you, make you stronger. But it does, because you're learning how to shape your day you're learning how to shape your life and it makes you more resilient because if you're not what are you gonna do you're gonna have a nervous breakdown at the first problem or the first relationship uh, well, believe, that breaks down yeah, I mean I believe that you're never given what you can't handle even at the worst That's interesting. point yes in my life I got through it and I just rose from the ashes and it made me stronger mm. and it, it taught me so much I mean it's not the good things in life that shape you it's the things the hard things in life that really what would you not do at all as in as in like um i don't know a, a hobby and exercise because you know you, you go to the gym you detox regularly um very often when katrina comes like oh i can't have that i'm detoxing today i'm doing veg today i'm doing fruit juice today uh -huh. and it just makes me feel like mm, like i'm not doing that i should be doing that so what's, what's your regime and, 
And what wouldn't you poison your body with, let me say? Uh, I've never really been a, a, a drinker, mm -hmm. alcohol, uh, you know, if I never had another... You it know, can be very destructive for the body, can't it? And it's, it's very bad. Dehydrating, very the acidic liver. Acidic and acidic, so yeah. smoking. I would never smoke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my, I'll, I'll, my family smokes, but I was just never mm. interested. Mm. Mm. You know, eat strange animals, alligator, crocodile, you know, all mm. these locusts and all of that. I would never, ever. I mean, I went vegetarian, vegan a couple of years ago, and mm -hmm. I just don't want to eat animals anymore, you know? No, no, I, I agree with you, and there's really no need, because all this animal farming, I mean, it is really changing the climate, it's accumulating CO2, 20% of, of the globe's CO2, you know, animals, farm animals are responsible for, and also they are never really treated well. No. Um, so you you're know. taking on that energy. Mm. What people don't understand is mm. that, you know, the trauma that animals go before mm. they're slaughtered, you're actually Tremendous. taking on that energy. And so how can that be good for you and all the hormones they get fed? Which is you're in a way also... why, you know, in some communities and cultures you bless the food. Yeah. I agree totally that you take a moment. And bless the food. And, yeah. and you know, like really be in the now with your food chew slowly, bless it, enjoy it, because it does affect what you're ingesting. Yes, 100%. I mean, what you're ingesting does affect you and, and how you feel. So are you mostly vegetarian now? Yes. How many vegans, vegetarian listeners we have? Leave us a comment, please. We'd love to know, because there seems to be a shift. It's hard to kind of read the comments, because, you know, I'm trying yeah, to record horizontally. Yeah. Um, what oils do you suggest using after a bath for detoxification? Oh, excellent question. Thank you, Leslie. Okay, so detoxification, um, okay, you've got lavender, which is your balancer, um, rosemary is good, basil, cypress, thyme, they all detoxify. So all um, the herbs, basically. Black pepper speeds up the blood flow. Black pepper is also, yes, it's because it's good for muscles. And yeah. If someone is lying in bed, or if they're bedridden, I mean, um, a good oil to use is black Black lemon, pepper. lemon is very good. It gets rid so of. So how would you use it? Do you mean Leslie, like in the bath, or do you mean on the body? Do you do you like what do you use for a base um, base oil? Yeah, I would. You, I would mix maybe three oils. You have a top note, a middle note, and a base note, and you would mix it in a carrier oil, which could be grapeseed or avocado, Jehovah olive oil you could even use coconut oil i like olive oil but i don't use it because you've really inspired me and i've delved into essential oils and i really make my own um i started making it for the family um to raise immune system and actually it was to help my aunt who um, had developed cancer she's passed on since then and i've read about frankincense mm. um so what i did so is holy, i did holy some research and there are three four different kinds of frankincense i combine them i used as a base oil um, almond oil i find it mm -hmm. i don't know it it's just makes rich. you feel good as well and it doesn't stick to the skin and i've combined it with other things and i made a huge bottle gave it sent it to everyone it's very good for the skin i gave it to our mutual friend baya and she stopped having her colds and flus you know got rid of them um and essential oils really work they really yeah, they do because they're from they, the they earth. go into they're the from, skin yeah. it's a fast way of going into the they bloodstream absorb, that's how they affect you they actually are absorbed into the bloodstream through the skin and that's how they have a greater effect on you so you know you have to be careful as well because there's a few that are contraindicated depending oh, yes. on what's can you tell us you. what those are well, I know like pregnant your, women yeah, they mustn't use some they, essential oils so, yes yeah, stimulating essential oils are, are a bit iffy for like what's woman. stimulating? Uh, rosemary, marjoram stimulating, um, black pepper you wouldn't use on a pregnant woman. Mm. You know, all the things that speed Sound up the wood, blood I flow. Think, as well. oh. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, after the bath. So, does that answer your question, Leslie? So, any of those. Um, so, after the bath, you don't want anything too stimulating because you want to go to bed. So, chamomile, lavender. Too much lavender can be stimulating. Yeah. So like literally a few, few drops. drops. Mm. On the 
on the bed it can make on the pillow say that it gives you stops your insomnia. Um, lavender. Lavender. Yeah. What else? Chamomile, mm. rose, or um, geranium. I don't. Th I love geranium. Ylang ylang. Mm. Uh, I don't think I've ever patchouli. tried chamomile. Patchouli. Oh, yeah. They're very, very heavy, sensual, so very, they um, make you sleepy. Basic. Frankincense. Myrrh. Really? It helps with sleep. Yeah. Gosh. Amazing. Yeah. Hi Suzette, thank you for watching. So we've got a lot of viewers tonight. We've got Houston, Texas, we've got Italy, we've got Saudi Arabia, we've got Dubai. Fantastic. So if you've just joined us, I'm with the lovely Katrina Valente. Katrina is an international facialist, holistic therapist, and we're talking about how beauty is more than just skin deep. Um, beauty is about radiating inner peace so if you're going through an emotional trauma stress no matter what you do <laughs> you're not gonna have that beautiful face or skin no, because I mean, you can tell I well I can tell by looking at someone what kind of mood they're in or what kind of mental state they're in and so you know once I've treated them if they're coming for a facial they do feel very different and more importantly more balanced mm. At the end because reflexology I do reflexology when the mask is on for about 20 minutes and I use the oils that they choose on an emotional level so that actually helps them immediately because when you work on the foot you're working on the whole body and um, so while they have the mask or the facial on the you work on, with yeah. the with the, um, so I do with the, the soles of the feet mm. so that helps to balance them instantly so you use basically um, color therapy, crystal color. healing, and reflexology. And reflexology. And when you touch the feet, it's like the whole body is represented as it is the on the hands. The hands as well, yes. Yeah, the same palms thing. and the, apparently the ear. Yeah. Yeah. So you're really kind of getting into. I know when I touch somebody's feet, if they've got an issue, the touch will be different. Yes. When you're doing reflexology, yeah, you can it's feel almost the crystals. like soft or or tight or tender or, hard, or, tight. or gritty. But you know, I also, I have, um, you know, the healing energy running through me all the time. So I'm very conscious when I'm doing a treatment, I'm totally with the client and I'm saying positive affirmations, whatever colors they choose, I keep repeating them in my mind. So they're going into the energy field. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to What do you mean you be... keep repeating them in your mind? Well, if they say you choose pink, pink purple blue and, and red i'd keep saying pink purple blue oh, and really? red and then i'd so say you're kind of like calling that love, energy balance communication mm -hmm. and energy interesting and so it does it calls in that energy and it, it does it balances the person because we, we kind of learned also to do that in bioenergy healing yeah you can put yourself into levels and you have two four six so second chakra, fourth and sixth. Mm -hmm. So you're balancing emotion, or you could have one and seven, which is very grounding. Yeah. So you're kind of doing a similar thing, but yes. with the with the smells, yeah. with the scents, and with the um, I with think the I really think that no matter what healing modality you choose, they all go to the same thing. This is what I really it's believe. It's just it's just what you what know aligns it's, with you as a person, as an individual. Yeah. Life, the body, consciousness. It's like a maze. You always have a different perspective or the healing modalities that different people practice and it doesn't matter which point you enter the maze in but it all kind yeah. of leads to the same thing we all want that don't Definitely. we we all want to achieve balance we all want to get over our emotional upheavals is someone leaving a message sorry i have to tilt thank my you, head Simona. thank you oh, you're that's welcome lovely. we have to share our knowledge we have so much of it <laughs> tell me about the um vision board workshops that you do yeah the vision boards i mean again it's working with the subconscious mind so you think about how you want your life to be how would your dream life look like and then i go through a little ceremony and then we sit for about an hour and you cut out different pictures and captions from magazines and then stick them all on a board and it gives you a story of how so, you want your life to so be so you're trying to put into pictures rather than words mm. as they say a picture speaks a thousand words yeah you're trying to use the pictures to stimulate the subconscious mind what kind of yeah. 
So when abundance or love yeah. or so when you've got the board, you put it in your home, not in the bathroom, because the bathroom is negative energy. No, really. What you do with it? Yeah. Even you, if you keep the lid down. Yeah. And, yeah. They're just negative. I don't know energy. why they say that. Why is it negative energy? It's well, where you go to cleanse. Yeah, exactly. And you, you emerge really good. So <laughs> why is it a negative energy? But I know that the loo lid should you know, be the, down. The toilet seat lid yeah. should be down. For sure, Otherwise, you lose all your energy. money. Yeah. Oh, and you lose money. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, As they say, literally money down the drain. Yeah. So you should just put your board somewhere in the house, in your bedroom, in the kitchen, in the hallway, and every time you walk by it, the subconscious mind clocks it, mm -hmm. and then you start manifesting in your life what is on that board, and it really works. How did the idea come? That. Um, it because wasn't my you know, I, idea. I think, uh, no, but you do everything differently. Like your meditation classes are different. Mm. You bring different things into it. Only you know? because I've studied so many different modalities. So I want to use as much as, I, as I've learned. In I think the rituals one. are important. And it's yeah. nice that you start the vision board with a ritual. Yeah. Because you have to get people in the, the in, proper in the state. Mood or, mm. Yeah, in the proper state to then be focused on what it is they need to manifest to get the best possible result for the Hi Gatano, he's here. Hi Gatano. Okay, I'm gonna wave to you. Thank you very much. He says you look amazing. Well, I'm with a beauty expert. Um, <laughs> she made a special we're, we're effort tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to get the right light, you know, if you can see, but... Um, and we didn't call each other up before and ask what colour no, we were wearing. No, by the way, yeah, we just... Katrina turned That's up amazing. when we were... We were, we're and we're both the, wearing the, the same blue, blue picture behind and us. the blue picture. I love that picture. Stars. And it's a deep healing color because in, in my meditation, I've got a thing that's called, um, you know, the lapis lazuli. Um, I love the lapis lazuli blue. And it's, it's the blue sphere. And it, it's not my invention. It's been established and used. But every time you connect with that space, it's like everything goes shh. And, you know, it's, it's very calming that color it's not blue white it's a calming it's color not. it is i mean the, the description for blue whether it's blue turquoise or indigo is peace tranquility and calm okay let's say that again so blue is peace tranquility and calm, and calm. Where, where does that come from like from the crystals or uh, from the vibration of no blue? it's the vibration of blue uh, universally if you ask anybody about color therapy they'll tell you that each color means the same thing hmm. it's not that Blue means that for me, and blue's going to mean something for someone, for someone else. else. It's, it's so it's like a certain vibe or yeah. a certain. Um, we need to turn our phone around. Um, I don't know, but when this is posted, it'll be fine. Yeah. Because otherwise, if we record vertically, Gitano is saying we need to turn our phones around. It's okay. I'm turning my head around. <laughs> but when we post it later, we've tested it it'll be fine otherwise we're gonna be really cozy and squeeze into a very small screen so i don't know why facebook does that it's very frustrating really mm -hmm. yeah but katrina is also recording it vertically on so instagram. you can see it live on her account on instagram so we're running an experiment to see how can you go live on facebook and instagram does it really bother you guys that you have to turn your um, phone sideways? Let me know if that's a real issue. Okay, you've said here, um, you can stop the anti-aging process. Yeah, I don't like the word anti-aging because so anti what do we, is what negative. what do we use? I like the word pro-aging. We okay. are supporting people in the aging process. Okay. Because we're all going to... Today is the youngest you will ever be. Hmm. Nice. Mm. Very nice, actually. So it just uh, goes on and on. I'm so going to write that down. Hold on. Today <laughs> is, the is the youngest that you will, you will ever, ever be. be. Nice. Yeah. So, you know, I think we have to age gracefully. I think there's too much emphasis on plastic surgery and Botox I, and filler. And, you know, women are all starting to look the same. And I just think it's the most ugliest thing ever. You lose your sense of individuality. Yeah. I mean, the whole point of looking your best is to bring out that aspect that you like who you are, you're comfortable in your own skin, and that you've developed your own self-expression. 
And it's really sad when, even in Europe, when I'm on the bus or something and I look at, like you said, everybody's beginning to look the same. And I remember I had a client who was absolutely beautiful in her 30s, um, jet black hair, blue eyes, high cheekbones, absolutely gorgeous woman. And then she came, you know, a few, couple of years later, like not a long one. And then these were off, I couldn't see her eyes. It was, I'm like, what have you done? I think nowadays there's a distorted image mm. of what beautiful actually is. And you know, um, beauty really is from the inside out. And this is why I see, I, yeah. my motto is in a piece yeah. out of beauty because, you know, I think social media and stuff today has really given women a heightened sense of insecurity. And it's all young is beautiful, old can't be oh, beautiful. Oh, I've seen mothers drag their daughters, you know, mm. under 20 to the plastic surgeon. Yeah, and Please, I'm totally people. against This is that. really low consciousness. Yeah, yeah. And whether you're a man or a woman, you know, the, the facial muscles, you know, there's so many muscles in our face alone. And if you do all this Botox thing and fillers, you will look different. You will look absolutely... I mean, don't get me wrong, hands up. I do Botox and filler. Ah, but I think, don't. Uh, you know... I we mean, don't know the side effects of Botox. We really don't. Yeah, it's a poison, Katrina. It is a poison, but you know, it's a muscular amount. You should do face fitness I with my yoga teacher. I should do face fitness. Yeah, I'm a bit lazy. And I can't. I do body nice. fitness. No, really. I yeah. just need to do no, face fitness. No, your body fitness. is amazing, I must say. Amazing. But yeah, you're right. But um, I think there's limits. Because you can achieve there the same limits. thing, you know. It's all about muscular movements. It's yep. all about hydration. And if you live in a hot, warm country, the Mediterranean, or here in Dubai, you have to really hydrate. Because it get or use sunblocks, you know. Otherwise, you have lots of freckles, and I freckle very easily. And these are the things that wear you down. And then every time you look in the mirror, I often hear people saying, oh, I'm old, I'm old. And then if you shift, if you move into that mindset, then everything spirals down because yeah. you know you're downloading all the agony that comes yeah. with thinking like that and that's why i think there is something to beauty if you like what you see in the mirror you're affirming to yourself you're claiming who you are you're affirming or you're expressing you know your own self-expression you're transmitting your own self-expression and you we should, shouldn't be yeah. afraid to do that no that's right you should look in the mirror every morning and say i am light i am love I am pure intention. I am light. I am love. I am pure intention. Oh, I've got to write that down. Hold on. I am light. I am I love. love. I am pure intention. I am pure intention. I like that. I, I love pure. myself. Because this is, saying, this is I how we myself. create. I love myself. I love oh, myself. Oh, thank you for answering my questions. No problem turning the phone around. Thank you, Leslie. You are not going to turn the phone. Oh. We are not going to turn no, the not. phone. No, we're not. We're really experimenting no. to kind of have a good video um and i don't think it's a big deal if people turn the phone around just to watch this live get a stand <laughs> <laughs> like this one so you can switch it whichever way you want but um i'd like to get a good video Hi, Omar. so when people watch it you know rather than being squeezed anyway it's an experiment we're trying on the other phone and we really have to squeeze um so can we move beyond the picture is horizontal? If you've got more questions, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Give us a like. I would like to see more hearts, please. Give us hearts if you're still watching. And if you have any questions for Katrina, um, send them now. We have a few minutes left. We, we, another question is, why is it important to go for expensive products? Is it like a fallacy or is it is it more worth it to go for? I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to products, I have to say, because when you buy I think you the get products, what you pay oh, for, but you, do your research. Yes, um, I think with professional products that you can only get from a beauty professional, they don't focus so much on the marketing but the ingredients and the difference in a good product is the amount of active ingredients within mm, that that's product interesting. right and so you've got to look for your vitamin a vitamin c is very important to protect your skin against free radical damage you would only use vitamin c in the day and it usually comes in a serum 
Vitamin A vitamin is C the retinol. The Why? Yeah, because it protects your skin against free radical oh, damage. Oh, I see. Okay, so you wouldn't really need that. You don't night. need it at night. I see. Okay. Um, lactic acids, which lighten and brighten the skin. Lipoic acid, which hydrates. Hyaluronic acid, which also hydrates. That's kind of like collagen, but it is important because the skin is an organ and people forget that. Yes. So correct. we're not. And really it's the biggest organ of the body it is. as well. And I was going to yeah. say, we're not being frivolous or, or vain. Mm. It is really you're looking after one of your organs yeah. because as you get older, your skin becomes thinner. You know, you'll be liable for cuts and bruises you know infections and, and people and why forget should their you? body yeah. you know with the why body you know if you don't want to use expensive body lotions then what's as good as anything as coconut oil yeah it's an amazing it's antioxidant thick, I, I prefer yeah, almond I mean, oil is almond oil um, almond antioxidant oil is very good i'm not sure if it's an antioxidant but it's a good moisturizer yeah it's, i find it's a really good moisturizer yeah. so we're looking after this body because it's the only one you've got in this life Absolutely. And if you want to finish your soul mission, then look after your body and look good while you're doing it. One of my favorite movies is a Peter Seller movies. Do you know the one with Goldie Hawn? And it's called There's a Girl in My Soup. And he's like, you know, the ever sought after bachelor. And he's, you know, quite good looking. And every time, you know, before he goes out or comes in, um, he looks in the mirror, he fixes his tie and he goes, Mwah, my God, but you're lovely. <laughs> So he valued how he looked and, you know, basically he brought his, it's, it's modern psychology, isn't it? You know, affirming to yourself, you look good, you feel good. Um, There's a difference between thinking you're physically beautiful and yeah, actually loving me. and respecting yeah. yourself for who you are and honoring yourself for who you are and having your self-worth. Mm. There's a difference. There's yeah. a big difference. Yeah. yeah, we're not talking. I don't want to manage. Yeah. Mention certain family that have been on reality TV, like you know. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not it. But we're all about loving the self, so that you can love others. Looking after yourself, because very often, especially if you're a giver, do you find that you give so much to so many, and then you've got nothing to give inside, and you look depleted, and you look worn out, and if you look that way you will feel that way yeah. and little aches and pains started to you know start to creep you've in you've got to learn to say no and you've got to honor and respect yourself before you honor and respect anyone anybody else. else yeah 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 that's what i've learned especially in my work because you know as a healer you know you were always giving 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 you know, you're always there yes. to help others, but then you well, forget to help yourself. Yeah. And, and as a practitioner, it can be very draining very when draining. you are in the service of others. It can take its toll, you know, emotionally, energetically. And sometimes I must say, I really forget to detox because it's so important, you know, because you're like a magnet, you're taking people's yeah. energies. I mean, I am, you know, quite grounded. I ground myself, but sometimes little things like washing your wrists, you know, washing your hands, getting up and stretching how how do you cleanse like well, between clients between clients or i actually sessions. burn a lot of incense mm, sandalwood sage and frankincense oil? you mean like vaporize the oils no, no, or, no, or incense, incense sticks, sticks okay. will actually cleanse a room and cleanse your space the altar okay, can we say them again because like ooh, you're so familiar so that frankincense went frankincense sticks and sandalwood sticks mm -hmm. and the bunch of sage white yeah. sage yeah. You burn it and you wave it around and, and open and the really windows does. if you can. Yeah, Doors, that really does. It uh, really does cleanse the energy. Also, the emeralds green from the Altera Bio range um, works on the heart center and it oxygenates the cells and it expands the lungs. I love. So as a therapist, yeah, that gives Altera you space. Bio. I really do, but I've got one thing if they're listening. Um, their bottle caps, you know, they, they often stop spraying. And I went back, when I went back to change it, you know, like you pay so much for this really wonderful oil. And how do these oil work on the chakras? Yeah. Because I remember I had a green bottle. And... Um, the dark green is the emerald. For the, the emerald, heart, yeah. And the, the light green is the, um, the um, letting go. And sometimes you can put a little oil, a little yeah. drop. And on then the that's, that's enough to open up the yeah, chakra, yeah, yeah. isn't it? It comes in oil, 
or the serums are the pure essential oils and you only, only need a couple of drops. Mm. The oils you can use as a body, oh, the body. which I do. So well, you're not only way. So you're moisturizing, your but you're balancing your emotions at the same time. And I think you often get drawn to what you need, even totally, if you don't know what. Totally, 100%. Mm. Yeah. You don't even have to think about it. You will you will be attracted to the, the, the color that you need in that moment. Like Always. right now, if I was getting a treatment from you, I'll probably choose light blue. I don't know, it's on my mind. What does that mean? Light, so tur this, mm, this blue, like, yeah. turquoise is um, about expressing your emotions from the heart. Mm -hmm. It's about um, saying how you really feel, being your true authentic self and finding peace and tranquility. Do the colors change or, yes. or is that your color? No, 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 they'll change on a daily basis depending really? on your mood. So if you want to feel uplifted, do you smell the right color? How does it you work? Will, you will just be attracted if you, I mean, obviously I'm in Dubai, I sell the products. So you would just, you can buy the little travel kit of oh. 14 oh. perfumes. Okay, I didn't know they have that. And then you can just every day choose a couple of Colors, really? and it's just what you need in that moment so I it think shifts you I think that's probably the moves. fastest way of healing balancing the perfume it's are. fun they work in because the scent you know the olfactory system goes right into the center of the brain so it can immediately it immediately change immediately change so I think that you, you have probably you're practicing the most beautiful form of healing you're looking after us you're making us look beautiful you're detoxifying us, you're balancing, well, your clients, you're giving them reflexology and they walk out and they smell really, really nice. Yeah, I'm lucky. I mean, my job isn't what I do, it's who oh, I am. Oh, what is the name of these oils? Yes, I know. I think we're Altera going through them. Altera Bio we'll do, Color Therapy. I'm sorry, what we'll do also is we'll put the text in. Um, can you hear us very well? So, Altera, how do you say? Altera, A-L-T-E-A-R-A. Eight. I think we text that. Yeah. Altera Bio Color Therapy. They're they're really beautiful. I remember using the emerald and was there something like a platinum or a silver white? Silver. Or I love silver that. is for regeneration. Really? So that's got a lot of patchouli and ylang ylang in it. I love that. Mm. I'm loving that. So each color is made up with several different oh, organic you, essential oils. Uh, to match the same vibration as the chakra. So it's actually very scientific. So you actually think that Atera Bio studied No, they did, I don't think. Really? Absolutely. How interesting. So yeah, we've yeah. got a major, what do we call it? Cosmetic company or perfumery or? Yeah, I mean. They've studied energy, they've studied chakras. Oh. And they've matched the vibes with the colors. That's absolutely amazing. No, it's been totally uh, made. So. How interesting. Mm. How interesting. Yeah. Katrina, will you come back again and talk to us? I, I, I want to know how do you detox? You didn't say with all your fabulous juices. How often do you detox? Do you do veg, fruits? What, what do you do? What's your regime? Oh, I'm very lazy. I don't like cooking. So the juicing is the easiest. I'll do three days, five days. What? Vegetables or fruits? Vegetables. Yeah. Which fruits are too high I've, in I've sugar. Heard, yes. I've heard that you should really be careful with um, fruit juicing. Yeah. Because by the time you're done, you could develop diabetes yes. if you do nothing else yeah. and if you don't exercise. You're safer with green juices, beetroot juice, carrot juice. Green beetroot. being the ultimate because it's just green. Bean? Green, bean? green juice. No, bean? no. Oh, oh, the green juice. Green juice. Yeah. Like what? You mean the powder form? No, um, ah. green juicing. Like you would put in celery, cucumber, lemon, ginger, oh, that kale, spinach. I'll try yeah, that. Yeah, and it I'll tastes try that good. Tomorrow. It does um, taste good. So you do it for three days, is what I want to understand. I would have, yeah, I would have in uh, a row or, or three yeah, days. Yeah, no, 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 it's three days in a row, because it gives your body time to rest and your digestive system time to rest. So it's the best thing you'll ever do. And what's even better is if you can water fast. Water fast will cure, cure any disease what or any mean? illness. What do you mean? Like just, just have just water. Just drink water for three days with nothing else. Nothing else. Really, you did that. And what does that do? Like completely yeah, I mean, you do feel of... hungry, but it mm. just, it, it stops your digest, it gives your digestive system a rest. Mm. And it resets And it just, your it resets everything properly. and it, it just gets rid of disease. Well, we are during the holy month of Ramadan. So you can try that folks, you can give it a try. And um, I want to thank you for watching. Give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, to Bridges of Light YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you all again. 
and I'm very, very thankful, very delighted to have you, Katrina Valente. Me too, Thank darling. You. <laughs> love you, love you, love you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.